So this is a ThinkPad P52 where they spill some liquids here and many, many of the keys don't work. Only a few here and a few over there. And these keys, these this, uh, here buttons also don't work at all. Um, so I think this one is the one that doesn't work. So we're gonna be replacing the keyboard and this line of keys that don't work. The keyboard comes with these keys as well. So it's all thing together like this. The trackpad works, but these ones are not working well, even though I cleaned them, but they don't work. So I'll show you how to remove this. Before you do that, you have to remove the battery. You remove the battery, just do it there. There it is. Put it aside, because you're gonna be working inside of the computer pretty much. You don't want it to be powered. So open it up. In order to do that, there are two screws underneath this two here. So you just pry it from the bottom and it will come out pretty easily. I guess, and you pull this way. One out. You're not gonna use them if you have a new keyboard. So, and the other one out. Then there is the, the screw. It's a Phillips. And it doesn't come all the way out. You hear a click, 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 click. It means that it's already spinning. You remove this one. I'll use the left hand so I don't block the camera. And it should be there. Here, in this one, since it's sticky on this one, I have to pull that way until this gap here closes. The keys are like flush with this bezel. It's not that easy to slide it, this one. There, I pushed and you can see it closed that gap here. So once it closes the gap, these things here and here and here come out. And that's when you slide it, you turn it around. And here you disconnect these two ribbon cables by pulling this up, that one. Out it goes, and the other one, out it goes. Here it is. Yep, you can tell all that. Yeah, it's all sticky when I put my finger here. Must have been like Coke or something. All right, now we have to go all the way to this buttons here. This one's, which has two screws underneath this bezel here. And in order to remove it, we have to turn it around and remove the screws from the other side. Let me show you. These are the ones. Then you have to, there are two other screws like this ones in here that will keep the, uh, the top bezel in. So remove this lead here, which is a small one. It's pretty easy to remove. Uh, I think that gives you access to the memory and the PCI, PCIe or extensions for M2 cards. And now we're ready to turn it around and pull the vessel up. But before, since the vessel has the power button, you have to disconnect this small cable, this black cable that comes. the cable that you need to remove. Now I usually pull from the corner. I go all the way around. 
here. Be careful with that this section. There it is. And then you pull this way. And here's the connection for the trackpad. And the other connection, I think it's the this one. And sticky section here, pull carefully. Yeah. And the whole thing comes out. And now you concentrate on removing these screws and replacing that part that connects there. So we're gonna do that. Alright, so let's remove this one. This screw here. And the other one. Remove this. And I got a replacement. And I'm gonna put it here. There are two guiding pins, one and two here, and two. Later, just connect this one back in. It's a little bit tricky. There it goes. Actually, there, there. Stay there. One, and two. So we can say that those buttons are replaced. It should work now. Now we have to go backwards and press here, connect the trackpad back. press oh before doing that actually put those ends first connect back the power there it is Press all around and turn it. Put the screws back. lead back you have to put this border first done with that now we have to put the keyword back and here's the new keyword that I bought and of course there's no liquid here and we have to put this first again patience You see that first first line has to go all the way in, and the second line is the one that shows when you when it's closed, and it doesn't come out. Now you turn it, you put 
this side first underneath you push that way so now you can before doing actually let's remove these keys one out two because we're gonna uh, screw those buttons now you make sure that this goes underneath that tab because you're gonna slide it in there there good I slide it this way and now I should be able to secure this screws push yep there it is don't just spin it push a little bit far there now in order to put this one you put this side first there and not just push there it is there that's it new keyboard let's test it let's put the battery back Nope, the other way around. And now we can test it. I'm gonna go to Notepad to test the keys. A S D F. Yep. They all work. Backspace. Uh, backspace delete. Let's see if delete works. Yeah, different port portions of the keyboard, they all work. That's great. Enter, numbers work. And let's see if the keys work. Yep. Right click. Yep. Uh, this right click. Yep. This click. Yep. It all works. I don't know if this one is programmed with something. This is usually a scroller, but this works. The pad works. Everything works. So I'm happy. New keyboard and it works. And let's test that. Um, yeah, just tested that the lights work and I can see it high, low, and then nothing. So I can see the light underneath. Now it's daylight, so it's easy. It's hot, kind of hard to see it, but the light on the keyboard also works. That's the other thing. So if you like uh, this video and help you how to solve your computer um, or the keyboard on your computer, please subscribe and share. And if you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions, just put it on the comments down below. Thank you. These are the part numbers that are removed. That's for the buttons, and this is for the keyboard.